So, Dicanthium cerisium, this Queensland bluegrass. Probably so named because the, the leaves tend to be what they call glaucous, a bluey green colour, but it's actually quite palatable. I consider highly desirable plant. Um, certainly, I think it's the most likely to um, replace the Kulatai grass um, and tend to dominate the, um, the pastures out here. It's, it, it's the one that's come back in, in more numbers. Queensland bluegrass has got this beautiful silky covered seed heads and the awns are a, a sort of an amber golden colour. They often appear to be in a single spike but when you open up there's four, five, six branches in what's referred to as a, a subdigitate arrangement. A distinguishing feature of Queensland bluegrass is the tutu, the rim of quite long hairs that occur at the internodes of the flowering stem and that's quite um, quite a distinctive feature of Queensland bluegrass. There are, there are only a, a couple of, of um, native grasses that, that have that feature. Um, it seems to be coming in quite quickly in terms of replacing the, the Kulatai grass and contributing quite a bit to the, to the diet of the, of the livestock.